So we're gonna have to watch out for that. Um, oh my God. Yo, what is up guys? Botrix here, back with a brand new video. And today guys, we are going to be playing some Maw Pit free power-ups. So let's hop right into it. So I have a much, much, much better understanding of this update. Uh, at first, I did not understand the tier one of the cell freeze power, but now I completely do. Like, I completely forgot. You can't sell farms if you use that ability or power against your opponents. So they're not going to be able to sell their farms. Therefore, you can rush them and they're not going to have enough money in order to defend. So that is a very, very OP power that I completely freaking forgot or just like, I don't know. I don't know. It just like didn't click in my head, I guess. I didn't think about that. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm probably going to be switching over to that power for my tier one because the extra slow too really does not like do anything. It does not do too much as most of y'all do freaking see. So that's kind of unfortunate. We got the map offside against player. Uh, looks like your average mob pit opponent. So I'm just going to be going DFA for this one, boys. And we're just going to be hopping right into this. And also, yes, I do not understand that they have a 15 second cooldown on your eco amp or just all powers in general at the beginning of the game, which is like understandable, I guess, because eco amp, it is pretty OP um, using that right at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to go for this farm here then. And then we're going to use our eco amp. He also did as well. And then we're going to be going for a dart monkey here. And my dart, yeah, it's definitely off. <laughs> the placement is really, really bad because uh, it's not going to be able to hit this path, but it's not the end of the world. So we're definitely going to be mixed equal against this guy uh, just because he's going dart as well. So he is going to be as well. So we're going to send space blues until 261 eco. And then we're going to also get up this triple dart. And also, we're going to be sending reds behind all these space blues. I just want to get up our eco as much as we can. We're going to also use the second eco amp. So let's do that. He's probably going to go for his farm. I would not doubt it. And there he goes for that. Let's go for ours as well because we actually can. And yeah, we're just going to continue with these grouped reds. And then on round four, we're going to layer over a lot of grouped blues. It's just going to be amazing. And then some space pinks behind that. He's probably going to agree this, I would assume. Uh, to go for that next farm, which is definitely understandable, but I don't think it's going to be smart. He's definitely going to be leaking quite a bit of lies. We'll see what he has, though. He could possibly have the lightning power. Oh, no, he's going to be coming at us with some. So we're actually going to put this bad boy on close. We're going to get up a quick triple dart to help us out. He already did get up another. Yeah, he got up a two triple darts. Okay, so he's chasing really, really bad right now. So I'm going to continue sending space pinks at him. Uh, but eventually he's going to be able to catch back up. So nicely done. Let's go for this plantation here. And yeah, so we forced that second triple dart, which is very, very good. Uh, that is a really, really bad spot, by the way. Definitely don't want to be placed in a triple dart anywhere near over where he has his. Okay, so like right here. No, just don't do that. Not smart, in my opinion. I'm going to go for this plantation here. So let's do that. And we have quite a bit of a big eco advantage that made no sense you guys know what i mean we have an eco advantage on him so that's really good uh, he's gonna be obviously sending us some space blacks here so let's put this bad boy on last and then i upgrade also to our second triple dart so we can defend against those so there that was an easy force of an upgrade um so nicely done player so we just went for our next farm of course we're a little bit behind but like i said that eco advantage over time we're going to be able to catch back up in farms for sure boys so let's actually send him some space blacks here he's probably going to greed uh for that next farm but like i said previously that dart spot is very very bad so i expect him to leak probably down to like 60 lives or something like that we'll see what happens boys let's go for this plantation here and so far he has not leaked very many lives i'm actually quite surprised um but we are going to be getting our spike pot in place as well and yeah here he comes with some yellow so obviously we're gonna have to get up a spike a pole there he got up a spike a pole so he lead down to 72 all right definitely not bad whatsoever let's go and put these back on two first because like now we don't have to worry about space deco or anything like that so yeah we should just do that um I was thinking about sending him some space regen whites, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. He just went for his plantation. So yeah, this guy definitely likes to greed. I uh, would not be surprised if he went for an early BIA or something like that. We're going to go for another farm just like he is as well because we have so many farms. So we're going to be able to get up our juggernaut still. And he's face bombing. I mean, you did the same exact thing, brother. Like, I don't understand. Uh, but we're going to go for this jug here. Cool, cool, cool. And then we're also going to be sending him a little bit of a regen rush just to force some upgrades and stuff like that. So let's just do that. And we're also going to be going for our next farm here. And it looks like he is going to be 
Ooh, using a lightning bolt actually down to 35 lives jesus so uh that definitely caught him off guard a little bit he had to use a lightning and that's also a good thing for us to know that he has that uh so it looks like he also might rush us possibly so we have to watch out for that um oh my god Whew. okay so we were able to micro that uh, pretty efficiently we're going to be sending him a rush right here uh just to see what that does we're also going to need to oh god oh he died okay <laughs> it looked like we were about to die there uh but maybe my tower stopped shooting at the balloons because he died not too sure i would have probably had to boost right there g freaking g my friend i will catch y'all in the next one so we are back with our next opponent swift so i played two games did not like either of them guys like these sabo powers really throw me off like i see like two powers used by my opponent and then i fucking lose I don't know if I can't sell. I don't know if my towers are stunned. I have no idea. Like, it just happened so quickly to where, like, I'm just like, what the fuck is even going on? Like, I swear to you guys, I could not sell or... And my towers weren't fucking working the last game. Like, I, I don't know. I honestly have no fucking clue, dude. I had no fucking chance. I don't even want to show it. It's just a really stupid game. Uh, so we're going to just be playing on cards. I'm just going to assume that this guy has every fucking great power in the game. So <laughs> let's just get it. And the slow power is so bad. It does not do fucking shit. I swear to you guys. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to be hoping and praying that we win this one, boys. Let's have a positive mindset during this one. And let's freaking get it. So let's obviously start with our farmer. And then we're going to be upgrading to our first farm. Um, a 1-0 farm after a while after we can use our first eco amp so let's do that immediately and let's upgrade to this boom 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 okay so there we go he has yet to set down a tower Alrighty, he's going with the fucking heli awesome we love to fucking see it boys so we are gonna have to anti-stall as much as possible so yeah let's get up this triple dart immediately um because we want to be popping these balloons of course and then let's use our second eco amp once we can and he's anti-stalling himself anyway so i guess he's just doing our job for us i'm not mad about that we're gonna be going for another farm here so let's do that let's go for the more bananas on it and then depending on if he's going to be sending us some blues or space pinks um, i'm gonna be either upgrading to the spike pole or the second triple dart and it looks like um, I'm probably just gonna upgrade to a spike pole. Yeah, not the greatest positioning. That's uh, fine though. It definitely freaking works. So I cannot be mad. Uh, so there's that. That's gonna tremendously help us with all these group blues. And I feel like it's more efficient um, in the long run to go with the spike pole if they're gonna be sending a lot of grouped eco. So yeah, here he comes with space eco, which is not smart. Okay, you want them to send space eco because it's inefficiently ecoing. Okay, so. If he happens to send a few space pings here and there, not mad whatsoever, because we still have 150 lives as well. So I cannot be mad. We're gonna hopefully go for another plantation before uh, we have to upgrade to another triple dart, because we're gonna have to eventually with these space, I mean, not space, with these grouped greens. And here comes his super eco balloon boost or whatever. Um, and he also upgraded to that quad darts. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. And yeah, we should be fine for the most part with the 0-2. It looks like we are handling it pretty well. We're going to go for another plantation here, so let's do that. So we have that 1-0 up looking pretty solid, boys. And his eco got to be a pretty decent amount, okay? So uh, we might even use, like, the tower slow ability or something. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just try that out, okay? So we're going to use this long slow. I'm going to see how these yellows um, do and how he's going to be able to handle them. He's probably going to use a spike storm or something. Lightning bolts? Okay. I'm going to continue to send. Maybe? No? Okay, yeah. God damn, the lightning bolts are so fucking OP. Holy shit. Okay, so he was able to defend against that, and we weren't able to advance in farms, which is kind of unfortunate. But we're going to have to also go for a second triple dart here. Um, I feel like we're probably going to have to upgrade to another triple dart <laughs> because he's sending so many goddamn yellows. Holy shit, man. Okay, so we are going to be kind of aggressive next round we gotta be um on round 11 that is so we're gonna leak a few lives there no doubt about it he's a super eco balloon booster once again i don't even fucking know yeah hell yes village fucking saw that coming from a mile away we're going to use this long slow and we want him to use another lightning here so hopefully he does once he does i'm gonna stop sending 
and yeah there's a lightning bolt there so unfortunately i don't have the quick shot which is yeah it's really unfortunate actually so this village is so annoying man these sabo powers really fuck up a lot man they really do I, I just, I don't know what to use. So he has no camo detection. That's nice. Okay, so let me send a camo lead. Oh, now he does. All right, so he's gonna be good with that. At least his um, shit's not in range of that. That's that's good. So hopefully he has to, lightning bolt. Yep, damage boost, lightning bolt, cool. All right, so I think I'm just gonna use the long slow and then just all out him because I really have no fucking other option here, boys. Um, so we're just gonna wait for that boost to wear off and then yeah, we're just gonna go all for it. Use the long slow and hope for the best so looks like he's gonna be getting up another heli and yeah let's just do it now long slow i'm gonna see what happens boys and i feel like he's not gonna be able to defend it looks like he's not defending swift is gonna go down to our all out round 13 regen rainbow rush it was actually round 14 but still i'm so fucking happy that we won that the long slow actually helped us out a lot right there because of his ice shards it wasn't able to go off as fast as normally and actually kind of goes off pretty slowly so with the long slow added it definitely screwed him over g g and i'm so happy that we beat heli ice <laughs> heli ice village is so annoying to play against gg i will catch y'all in the last one so we are back with the last opponent king Chris, and yeah he's going all or nothing right here boys all or nothing did i say what the hell did i just say i have no idea <laughs> How the fuck did he make it in this? Honestly, I kind of feel bad. We got the map of water resorts, which I guess, why not? Let's just go dart once again. We've been going dart quite a bit this game. This time around, I'm going to be going dart farm ace like we did uh, the first game. And yeah, it's just going to be lovely. So yeah, honestly, I was talking a lot of shit on long slow. It helped us out tremendously right there. Um, but you can even say like, I don't know, like for example, the self freeze right there wouldn't have been effective at all for us. Not a single bit. It's only effective usually when your opponent is going with farms. He was going eco, so he does not need to sell any towers. He does not need any extra money. Um, that's why people sell their farms because they need the extra money, but yeah, he definitely did not. So the sell freeze would have kinda, kinda sucked having, but you don't know. You don't know uh, whether your opponent is going to be ecoing or not coming into the game, so it's just, I guess you gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know what I mean, boys? And I forgot to use the eco ramp. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so I sent a little bit of eco as well. I guess I'm just gonna continue with it because it looks like he's not gonna be upgrading anything. He only has two zero zeros, I think, or something like that. Not too sure. Let's go for another one zero here. Uh, but yeah, definitely long soul helped us out. Um, but also, like us being able to like stun one of his towers would have helped tremendously too. I probably would have just stunned the ice shards because that's the most effective tower in my opinion. And yeah, it just would have been pretty good for us uh, with that as well. So yeah, I mean, at least it worked out um, and I'm happy with it. Okay, so he's sending down a lot of zero zero towers. This guy has no fucking clue what he's doing. Like absolutely none. Uh, but watch him like have some like true four fucking sabo power that I just happen to die to. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh shit, I hope that does not happen. Uh, we're just gonna continue to farm, obviously. We're gonna chill with this single triple dart because he's not pressuring us whatsoever. Uh, so there's no point in upgrading. So let's go for this second plantation once we can. And yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna be a round 13 GG once again, boys. It just seems like he's not gonna have enough money in order to defend, but he could possibly all out us. Uh, so we're gonna have to watch out for that as well. Here he comes with a few space pinks. So he's actually sending some. Oh my God, we're gonna get up a second triple dart. Okay, I'm just not about it. And also our farms are already pretty good. So we can afford to upgrade to a second triple dart. It's not gonna hurt us that much. And here he comes with space blacks. So we're gonna be going for another farm. We don't have to upgrade to space blacks. Two triple darts is going to be able to handle it. We're gonna leak lives here and there, obviously, cause he's just gonna stop or not gonna stop sending that is. Um, so yeah, I mean, it would not hurt to get up a zero two because of this layered in with this AI. So yeah, I'm just gonna get up a zero two really quickly. Cause we are down to 117. We still have quite a bit of lives. So I'm definitely not stressing anything, but the zero two is definitely gonna help us out quite a bit. Uh, let's go for another plantation here. So three plantations before round eight, pretty good. Pretty good in my opinion. Let's get up a zero zero right here in case he wants to send us some yellows because uh, that could possibly happen. And yeah, he's just not stopping with his base eco, man. He sees that our lives are going now. So he's like, dude, I'm not fucking stopping it. I'm not gonna stop. So I, I, I guess I respect that move. <laughs> so let's go for another farm down here. One zero that is. 
I okay. I forgot to use the eco amplifier. That's fine. I thought I just damage boost. I was like, God fucking damn it! But I didn't. I forgot to use the eco amplifier, so I'm not mad. Why am I like forgetting to use it? I have no fucking clue, guys. Like that's a bot move on my behalf. I won't lie. So we're gonna go for a <laughs> jug here eventually down to 79 live. Just not stopping with the space blacks. It's been constant actually. So. Um, it looks like, yeah, he's not even going to send us a lead, whatever then. Uh, let's send him a lead. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to send him a few leads. I want to see if he's going to be able to defend. Honestly, I don't think he's going to be able to. So that's why I sent quite a bit. Uh, let's get up some camera detection on that. Uh, let's get up a few more trick darts. Let's get some camera detection on these. And yeah, he could possibly all out us. Yeah, this guy has no fucking clue on what he's doing right now. Uh, he's dead as space leads, honestly. Yeah. He's gonna die to those. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely. And yeah, King Chris is dead to those. Dude, I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell or how the hell he got into Moab Pit. But <laughs> we're just gonna wrap the video up there, boys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'm glad that I have a little bit of a better understanding of the update and everything like that. Obviously, it's gonna take time to adjust. For all of us, it happens every single time there's a powers update. Like before or at, at the beginning of the eco powers, I like completely hated it. Uh, but over time, I progressed. I got better. I got better powers too. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably just going to buy some eco or not eco amps, <laughs> some um, XP boosters or whatever uh, to get the powers faster because I just cannot wait to get them. Okay. And I want to showcase you guys. Uh, them as well so once again if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like and also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to click that subscribe button so the last question asked you guys in the last video was which is better temples or tech terrors and the answer is temples obviously so this guy won congratulations man although tech terrors are pretty op temples with the sacrifice and everything they're just amazing okay definitely uh in like game modes like bonanza and stuff like that so congratulations man on your shout out and also guys i forgot to do the shout outs in the last video i do very much apologize uh so i'm going to be shouting out every single person that got the answer right and the question was what time was it at the time of the recording and the answer was 5 30 i saw several people get it right so shout out to everybody that's on the screen right now thank you guys so much for participating i really do much apologize as well uh, for forgetting that was uh, definitely my fault uh, but yeah hopefully this made up for it so the next question i'm going to be asking you guys is what in my opinion is the best tier one sabo power okay so i was talking about it a little bit talking about how for the most part it can be pretty op so make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video which is obviously dope i hope you boys did enjoy once again it's been your boy Boltrix or justin peace out everybody